Hi, my name is Steve Scott. I'm an obstetrician gynecologist and a pediatric gynecologist at Children's Hospital Colorado. Non-sexually acquired genital ulcers, also known as NSGU, Leibschitz ulcers, or vulvar apthosis, represent skin lesions erupting on the mucous membranes of the vulva and vaginal structures following a viral illness. The lesions are not a direct infection, but represent an autoimmune response on mucous membranes. Although uncommon, they are quite painful and can be mistaken for bacterial cellulitis or lesions associated with specific viral infections, such as herpes simplex virus, cytomegalovirus, and Epstein-Barr virus. Adolescent females in early puberty are at particular risk for their development, raising speculation that hormones influence the condition. The average age at occurrence is around 14 years. Typical presentations include fever and viral prodrome symptoms in 90% of patients. Purple or black patches of skin necrosis may appear one to three days later. Over the following 24 to 48 hours, these patches slough dead skin, leaving ulcerated beds with clean edges. Single or numerous lesions may develop on the inner labia minora, the vestibular structures, and the vaginal mucosa. Smaller lesions less than one centimeter in diameter may coalesce into lesions of greater than three centimeters in size. Aphthous ulcers in the mouth are present in about 10% of patients. Lesions are quite painful, making it difficult to walk or sit. Contact with urine may be exquisitely painful, leading to urinary retention and the need for catheterization. Occasionally, hospitalization is needed for pain control. Supportive care with SITSBAS, along with topical and oral analgesics, are primary treatments. Antibiotics do not accelerate the time to recovery. Topical or oral steroids are recommended when pain is severe or lesions are extensive. However, there are no studies that prove their effectiveness. Fortunately, the acute outbreak is uniformly self-limited. The pain resolves around eight days after ulcers emerge, and complete mucosal integrity is commonly restored by 21 days. Patients are usually able to return to school and limited activities during the last two weeks of healing. Although 75% of patients will never experience another outbreak, one quarter will have one or more recurrences, ranging from two months to two years from the initial outbreak. A small number of this group may go on to develop more serious and chronic autoimmune conditions such as Bechet's syndrome, where recurrent ulcers erupt on the mucosal membranes of several organ systems, including the eyes, mouth, and gut. Immunology or rheumatology consultation is recommended after a second NSGU eruption. For more information, please contact our clinic.